So you want to print one of the dumbest things on the internet? <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to print Beefy Shark. Let's go. <laughs> Beefy Shark was voted one of the worst or dumbest things to print on the internet. And today we're going to print that to show you how to print for beginners. If you're just getting into 3D printing, there are basically two types of 3D printers. One is SLA, which is known as resin printing, and the other one is FDM, which is like a filament-based print. The differences are FDM is usually used for larger objects, and SLA or resin printers are usually used for detailed objects. You can see here the differences between the two, and the FDM printers on small objects require a ton of sanding. So today we're only going to go over SLA or resin printers. So the first thing that you need to do is buy a printer and this is the one that we're going to be using today in the demo. It's one of the cheapest printers on the market. If you buy from Anycubic it comes with free shipping and no tax. The next step is to go and find the model that you want to print. Today we're going to be printing Beefy Shark which is awesome. Once you download that the next thing you do after you get your printer is you have to download software to make it run. So here we're going to Chitu Box. You just download it and install it. Once you got Chitu Box installed Open it up and then load the file. Once you load in the file, the next thing you, you're going to do is position it and then go into supports. This is actually a demo of why automated supports don't always work. Click on platform. It actually builds all these supports for you. But see, sometimes the automated system doesn't pick up all the supports you need. So if you look here, there's this blue scroll bar on the side. What I normally do is something called hunt for islands. So basically islands are what happens when there's a piece of resin printing, but there's nothing supporting it. There's nothing supporting it is that it will just harden and then dip and dump into your resin vat and that's a problem so it's actually really easy to do supports once you check for islands and then make sure that you support those islands properly everything should be good to go and then you can go on to the next step which is slicing so for slicing the best way to do this is to go to google open up google and then search for your printer name and then type in Google Sheets. And once you get that, it'll direct you to either Reddit where you can see what other people have recommended for your settings on your printer. Once you're done slicing, you save it to your USB, pop that bad boy into your printer, add resin to the vat, put everything else together, hit print, and then watch that printer go. Once the printer's done, what we do is actually remove the build plate, and you can see Beefy Shark is looking pretty sick already. Remove the print from the build plate with a metal spatula. Wash the print in alcohol, 91% or above, is so that you get off all the excess resin that didn't harden. Once you get that done, what you need to do is remove all the supports that you added digitally to prevent those islands. There's two ways to remove supports. One is to cut them. The other is to actually just break them off. After the supports are off, all you have to do here is cure them in UV light or you can actually just place them outside for 30 minutes. Both will work for you. Thank you for watching. All of the items and parts used in this video are in the description. <laughs>